A scientific study into a pack of wolves in Devon is about to take a major step forward. Swedish academics are analysing six animals to find out if wolves can ever be released into the wild in the UK. As Hamish Marshall has been finding out, the pack has been in quarantine for four months, but is now on the move to a bigger enclosure for further monitoring. This is what four months in Devon does for you. PJ, named after the Dorset-born singer PJ Harvey, seems relaxed here. That sound shows the other five members of the pack are happy too. There was a big progress already there, and coming back now, uh, two months later, it, it's even better. So it just continues to, to be a very, very nice progress with them being very relaxed in their enclosure and, and having a very good connection to their keepers. Christina got a warm welcome from the wolves when she returned. She's raised them from cubs in Sweden, and now she's back to help them move home. This area has everything that a wolf might need. It has. Uh, now they're through quarantine, um, this much larger area is theirs. We have a, a, a dense cluster of fir trees here, which uh, create this nice secluded area. Um, the wolves will very much enjoy being in here, and you can just see through the trees the, the main viewing area for the general public. Uh, so. The, the general public can be assured that if they can't see the wolves, the wolves can certainly see them. The new enclosure will allow Christina to better monitor their behaviour as she tries to find out more about the animals and if the species could be allowed to roam free. But she knows things may not go to plan. Lynn and I will be a resource in there and they, that will probably make them come in faster. We have other uh, little uh, treats. We have uh, sausage, hot dog sausage, which we really like. Um, so we, we have like small, small things we can do to make the, the transition a little easier on them. But they're even harder to shift than hoped. The wolves don't seem keen to try out the upgrade on their present abode. So it's a long wait for the staff and your reporter. Encouragement and bribery don't work, so the wolves win for now, but Christina remains confident they will be in situ for their public bow this weekend. Hamish Marshall, BBC Spotlight, Escott and East Devon.